being a poor boy, I don't throw away much. And I've had these uh, moccasin boots for quite some time now, probably 20 years. I wear them when I go fishing. It's, uh, you know, it keeps the creepy crawlies and the cutting grass and the stickers off my legs and out of my socks. But the soles were wearing out. Uh, there was a chunk missing out of the toe on that one, so it wouldn't be long before it actually started tearing into the moccasin boot. So I had some flip-flops that uh, this, this part pulled out of the other shoe. So I'm going to take the soles off of those and I'm going to repair my moccasin boots using the soles using the soles from my uh, flip-flops. So, refurbish, repair, reuse. for a little while. And once you get it scraped off pretty good, uh, you can use chemical to help uh, soften up that glue and get rid of it. It makes stuff especially for shoes for this type of thing, but I don't have it. So I'm just going to use some mineral spirits. takes a little while but it all comes off and then you have a clean surface to work with and you want it to be as clean as possible before you try and glue it back on. So. Pretty clean. You just have to let it dry. You also want to scrape off any anything you can get off the bottom of the boot of a sole or whatever it is you're, you're trying to do the sole swap on. There's no chunks here so I don't think I'm going to get anywhere this way I'll just, but I'm going to go wash it that down. I'm going to use a piece of scotch Brite and some mineral spirits and scrub that down and I'll have to let that dry as well. I'm using lots and lots of mineral spirits on this so I can get actually soaking into the leather a little bit. But I want it to get in behind the glues. Glue will let go of the shoe. I think actually the sole, the soles I'm going to put on here go beyond the old glue line. This is the old glue line and the new soles just a little bit bigger than that. It'll actually wrap around the sides. Which should be an improvement. Lots more scraping to do. And I got them scraped up pretty good. So I'm going to take the sole that was on it put that down inside the boot. That'll, that'll kind of help hold that shape and I'm going to pack that in with a bunch of newspaper make it a little bit stiffer so when I try and glue the new sole it's not going to have little whoop de doos and bumps all over the place.
since the the new sole is actually going to go past the edge where the old sole was i gotta make sure that heel is packed down good too it's taken me a little while to figure out how to clamp these things but uh, before i get started i'll be using the shoe goo i bought this quite a while back and just never got around to using it but it's time now I saw another fella who made a suggestion I can't remember his name I wish I could but he said uh, if you put a little grease uh, that's clear grease would be better than this if you put a little bit of grease around the threads before you open that the chance of um, having to throw this away because the you can't get the cap off is decreased quite a bit um, I hate throwing away silicone or whatever it is that, because I didn't think to do this before I started so but now it's greased up a little bit so I can go ahead and open it up it's a nice dark color anyway so the grease and that matches <laughs> that's good didn't realize I got the dark yeah that's black okay well that works because this is a black sole um, I'm gonna need something to spread that with so I'm gonna find something to spread it with before I get started Okay, got a little piece of cardboard. And let's move, move the boot out of the way a little bit. So start from the bottom. Around the outside is where it really needs it the most. It needs it all over, but well, I think it's always kind of comical. The battery always goes dead when you uh, need it to work the most. I've got that clamp down. This is the only way I can figure out how to do it, and because the the sole is slightly bigger than the area that used to be glued to that it's slightly bigger than the area that it wants to be glued in um, the sole sticks out just a little bit past the edge of the boot so I've packed rags around the bottom to, to, to make it curve up a little bit so it follows the line of the boot um, don't know how clear you can see that, but it's been 24 hours. Um, that says uh, let set for 24 hours. It may not be fully cured for for 72 hours. So, so I, I just let it sit overnight, and that was uh, that's the first boot. I still have the second one. I still have the second one to glue the sole to, so we'll find out how this one went. Let's see. That's one squished moxin boot. to clean that up a little bit. I guess I can do that with a whatever I need. A little razor knife and trim that off. Well, not too bad. Just have to trim off the little bits plus some stretchy stuff. Good stuff. I like that. Looks pretty good. 
pretty good. So I have to glue up the other one. And then I gotta do something with the strings. One of the issues I've always had with these boots is the laces were so far apart. Um, and whenever you tighten it up, it will actually pull the top of the boot down. So it, it needs more, it'd be all right. more laces. But yeah, gotta punch some holes. Once the new holes are stretched out like the old holes, it'll look like it's always been that way. The old boot laces, these are these are good laces. The originals were leather, uh, and I think the reason that they had the holes spaced out so much so you could use a regular boot lace with it. And these are really good. They're 72 inches long, um, and I'm gonna need to double that or not quite double that but I need longer so what I've got is a uh, hundred feet of paracord and I bought this especially for this purpose went from 72 inch laces to a hundred and thirty inches a little bit more than what I need because I've got a little little floppy on each side but Don't look like new boots, but they feel like new boots. Got the new sole. Good use. Extra strings. Those aren't going to be pulling down. That's nice. 